All right, what up, y'all? It's Matt. So a long time ago, I made this video. It was the very first video I ever made on how to fix strip spark plug threads using this tool. So of course, since it was my first video I ever made, I left some details out. And guys want to know, you know, I get comments all the time. I got X make and model vehicle, and I have this model uh, part number spark plug. Which tool do I need? So here's a mini guide on how to figure it out. Check it out, guys. All right, so here's the original packaging right here. It's got a 10 millimeter tool in it and a 12 millimeter tool in it. The 10 millimeter is 10 times 1.0 thread pitch and the 12 millimeter is 12 times 1.25 thread pitch. Let's go look at a bunch of different motorized things and let's see what thread pitch um, spark plugs they have. All right, so here's the dirt bike I fixed the threads on all those years ago. Still running great. It has 12 millimeter spark plug threads. Here's a chainsaw. It has 14 millimeter spark plug threads. Here's a Briggs and Stratton lawnmower. It's got 14 millimeter threads. So this is a Honda clone on my tiller, 6.5 horsepower. It's got 14 millimeter threads. Here's an Evinrude outboard on this boat. It's got 14 millimeter threads. Here's a Ford 4.0 truck engine. It's got 14 millimeter threads. All right, guys, so I got three of them lined up here we can check out. We got a 10 millimeter, 12 millimeter, and 14 millimeter spark plug threads. So this 10 millimeter and this 12 millimeter, these two are most common in ATVs and dirt bikes. Typically, the smaller dirt bikes will have the 10 millimeter um, and then the 12 millimeter on larger dirt bikes, but it's not always like that. And then the 14 millimeter, you can see it's much bigger diameter, not much off, but it's a bit bigger. That's used in pretty much everything. Cars, trucks, boats, lawnmowers, chainsaws, pretty much everything. So it is the most common. And now there's an 18 millimeter, and that's used on like diesel um, glow plugs and stuff, but I don't have one of those here as an example. I'm gonna show you guys how to figure this out online. Easy. All right, guys, so I'm on the computer now. I got two spark plugs picked out here. Let's look them up. The first one is an NGK DPR8EA9. All right, so go to NGK's website or whatever manufactured the spark plug is, the website, and we're gonna search. DPR8EA9, enter. Okay, here it is. And then we're gonna scroll down. You can see product specifications right here. There it is, thread diameter 12 millimeters by thread pitch 1.25 millimeters. Works every time. Um, ignore this, you know, the hex size, that's just the socket to get it out and the reach and all this stuff you don't really need. But the spark plug gap, that's pretty nice to see right there. That's useful. But here's what we're looking for, for the, um, threads right here. Let's try that other spark plug. All right, guys, here's the 12 millimeter tool. If you have 12 millimeter spark plug threads, you need to use this tool. I'll put links in the description where y'all can find this tool, but it works just like I demonstrated in the videos. You can see it goes in like that and you pull it out backwards so no metal gets in the motor. This is the 12 millimeter version right here. The second one is an NGK B8ES. B8ES, boom. Okay, here we go, specifications, and there it is. Just like I said, 14 millimeter by 1.25 millimeters. So it's right here. Um, yeah, it works every time, guys. So you can also use the um, automotive websites like Advance Auto and AutoZone. Let's check one of those real quick. Although they are hard to find boat and um, dirt bike spark plugs on those websites, but we'll give it a shot. All right, let's go up here. DPR8EA9. Um, right here. It's a little harder to find on this website. See, it doesn't tell you. So, yeah, it can be hard to find on these websites. Um, oh, there it is right there. Thread diameter. Hard to find, but it's right here. So, you can see it's better just to use the manufacturer's website. Okay, here's the 14 millimeter version. If you have 14 millimeter spark plug threads, you need to use this tool. Link in the description so that y'all can fix your stuff. But here you can see it goes in the motor like that and it pull it out backwards. Works exactly the same as the other one. It's just a little bit larger diameter. 
All right, y'all, that's it for the video. Hopefully that fills in some of the missing information. And this little guide was helpful to help you figure out which tool you need to fix your strip spark plug threads. I'll check y'all in the next one. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe down below for more videos in the future. Peace.